Hello everyone, I'm Doug Webster, Director of Public Relations for the California Maritime Academy, and we're aboard the training ship Golden Bear. She sails across the Pacific from New Caledonia to Honolulu on the second half of the first of two summer training cruises. Yesterday, aboard the Golden Bear, we deployed yet another in a series of special scientific oceanic research floats called Argo. And to find out more about the Argo program, we talked with Dave Keeling, professor of chemistry at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. An Argo float goes through a cycle. Once it's going, it will float at the surface for a few hours. It takes some oil out of a little bladder so it descends to a thousand meters. When it reaches a thousand meters it drifts for ten days. At the end of ten days it changes its bladder again, drops down to two thousand meters. At two thousand meters it stops, it starts coming up, it measures temperature, it measures salinity, it measures pressure, and continues up to the surface. When it gets to the surface, it relays the information that it's collected to a satellite. The satellite can tell its location. So when it completes a full cycle and repeats its next set of data, it can determine currents, mainly at a thousand meters, because that's where it spends most of its time. The fleet is at about 2,000 and they last about five or six years so there's constantly a need for replacement to keep uh, to keep them in position our trip to the south pacific does a very good service for noaa because there aren't many ships that travel down here who volunteer to release the argo float so they're very happy to have a relationship with the Maritime Academy, they're very happy to have a relationship with Cal Poly to deploy their floats for them. The, the main program is under the supervision of NOAA. They go wherever they go and, and you can drift a long ways at a thousand meters in six to eight years. It's going to sit in the ocean and seawater corrodes things like crazy. So they have to be quite careful in their packaging. We have to be quite careful in the uncrating and the handling so that it doesn't get any scratches. We did 10 or 12 three years ago, and that was the first time that the Maritime Academy, the first time that Cal Poly had done them. There are probably 25 or 30 countries that participate and contribute funds to build the floats and deploy the floats. The data that they collect is available to anyone. It's not proprietary, it isn't U.S. data, it's global data. Anybody can make use of it. Early this morning, we deployed the last of our Argo floats for this year. But next year, the Golden Bear will be back on the Pacific once again, and undoubtedly will be carrying more of these Argo research instruments to aid scientists in their ongoing studies of the ocean and the world's weather.